Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Star Wars Expanded Universe, now redubbed Legends. So, today I have for you one novel, which is Balance Point, and a short story titled um, Recovery by Troy Denning. Book 6, Balance Point, Book 6 in the New Jedi Order, Epic series, uh, Balance Point by Kathy Tires. Kathy Tires is the same writer who wrote the Chusa Pecora and wrote many short stories in the tales, uh, like the tales of Jabba's Palace, tales at uh, Mos Eisley's Cantina, stuff like that. She's done a lot of that. So the main plot of this, of, of Balance Point. In the beginning, uh, Jaina Solo gets injured uh, and she needs to, you know, recover. And she recovers fairly quickly into the novel, but she gets sent to Duros, which is also where Han and her twin brother, Jason, are. Uh, Leia is also doing a bunch of diplomatic stuff over there as well, you know, trying to help refugees and stuff. Uh, but uh, it all culminates. Uh, we find, you know, we learn more about uh, what the Yusung Vong are trying to do over here. Uh, also, we have Rhonda, which is one of the huts who escaped from the big thing that happened last time. I'm being very vague, I'm sorry. Um, and the big thing also with this book is Jason, at this point, is really trying to figure out what to do. This is his this is the big balance point. Does he give up on the Force and not use it anymore, become a hermit, do nothing? You know, like uh, sequel Luke? Um... You know, because he's like, I can't use the force because, because, I mean, he gives reasons, but I found it extremely annoying. But that's like his whole struggle. Like, do I use the force? Do I not? But if I use it and I'm aggressive, then dark side and all that. And he's just super paranoid. Um, doomed if you do, doomed if you don't. Because uh, uh, of stuff. <laughs> but, um, so he finally resolves that issue. Hopefully he won't be the annoying questioner anymore in this series. Um, we find out a pretty big revelation about Mara in this book. It's a big revelation for Mara and Luke. So that already probably gives you a good idea of what's going on. And of course, as all these novels have done to us so far, they lose. Armor heroes, they lose. And Yu Song Vong uh, advance another step further to uh, the core to Coruscant, to the center of everything. Uh, I don't know if my camera's having a weird focus thing. If it is, I am so sorry. I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah, it looks like it's doing it. I can't stop that. But, um... Yeah. Um, I'm trying to figure out if there's anything specific I want to tell you. Um, not really. Uh, that's, that's like the big gist of this book. Han and Leia are still having a little bit of issues Ever since, you know, he ran off in the Agents of Chaos series to go do stuff. You know, she feels, you know, like, are we still going to work out? Like, he's not acting like he used to act, and it's a whole thing. That finally gets completely resolved in the uh, recovery novel, or short story. Sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that next. So, uh, that's my non-spoiler for Balance Point. I'll get more into detail in Balance Point and spoilers, but for now I'm going to go to... Uh, the next thing that we have here, which is Recovery, which you can get on, like, Kindle for, like, a buck. Um, it's a short story by Troy Denning. Troy Denning's very important because he's going to be writing a novel, a pretty big novel, I believe, uh, in this very series, in New Jedi Order. Uh, he will also do the next trilogy after the Yusung Vong whole thing is over with, and he will help contribute to every single novel uh, moving forward after the fact, with each new big arc, whether that be Fate of the Jedi, Legacy of the Force, uh, and Crucible. So yeah, uh, I don't, I'm don't. i not going to spoil anything for you, really, because it's a short story. It's only like 100 pages. Um, but I will say that the story takes place three weeks after uh, Balance Point ends. Um, Han and Leia get reconciled. They try to... Uh, uh, Leia is recovering because she currently can't walk due to what happened in the Balance Point book, which I 
read it if you want to know what happens there. But uh, bounty hunters are trying to capture her and take her, um, or to, to, to kill her. Not take her, sorry. Why? Well, you got to read the book. But that's basically the short end stick, no spoiler premise of that book. Um, or of that short story, I should say. So that's about it. Um, I know that's pretty short, but it's a short story. And it's like a book, so you should just read it. Uh, and you, it, you would place it here, you would read it before you read the next book in the series, which is uh, The Edge of Victory. So yeah, I'm going to get into spoilers now. If you don't want spoilers, get out. So at this point, we've been in the war for so long. Uh, Jason and Jaina started out as 16-year-olds in the series. That was book one. It is book six now, and they are now 17 years of age. And two months have passed. Um, since the last novel, uh, and it's also been 10 months since the first book, so we're almost at a full year now into this conflict. Um, oh, we find out that Mara Jade Skywalker is pregnant with a child, obviously. Um, but, uh, if those of you know the EU, who know the future, um, you know that that is Ben Skywalker, who we'll see in the future. He'll, he'll play a He'll play a certain role. He'll play roles. He'll do stuff. Um, right. So Jason's philosophy is all like, I don't want to use the force because it's it's scary and we shouldn't be doing that or whatever. I don't know. It's interesting. Like, I like reading it, but at the same time, it infuriates me every time I read it. I don't know if we're supposed to get this, like, pissed off at him, but I was just really, really annoyed. I'm like, come on, dude. Like, get over yourself. Let's just, there are lives at stake here. Oh, it is doing that. I'm so sorry. I don't want to make that stop. It does that sometimes. It doesn't do that in every review. It only does that sometimes. It's really annoying. Uh, it's trying to focus on me. Maybe because I'm not staying still. I don't know. It doesn't happen in the morning, but I guess since it's in the app, it's like nighttime. It's doing it. Can't help you. Um, Han and Leia are getting better in this book, but it's not fully resolved until that short story. Um... Jason takes on a leader role, because uh, while he's on Doros, he's doing a lot of stuff. He's not, you know, being a soldier or a Jedi, but he is um, in charge of a lot of people, so I thought that was interesting. Um, fudge. Well, this was an interesting question that I was thinking of while reading this. Would the Empire fare better against these Song Vong? They were a lot more violent. And they had Palpatine, who wouldn't hesitate to blow up a planet. It meant stopping the Yusong Vong. I don't know. I think they might be more efficient. I think this conflict would not have been allowed to go on for 10 months. I think it would have been dealt with in a month, if not less. If you feel differently, let me know in the comment section below. But that's just how I felt. So, Naminor, who is the only Vong who we've really seen survive like all these books. Uh, he's disguising himself as a Duro. If you don't know what a Duro is, uh, the planet, is, it's there's a planet, and the people that live on that planet look like, if you know the prequels, Cod Bane. That's who you should be thinking of when you think of Duros. Uh, but yeah, he, he, you know, we've only seen them, like, pretending to be humans, but we actually got to see him be like a Duros, and he pulled off thing and you see him there which is so gross and weird and then again I just had to say it again Jason you're so annoying because again it just gets brought up and I'm like dude just do what you gotta do yeah and then but we basically get a nominal reunion with Marjade Skywalker and Jaina because I believe they were both there in the book one when they went to go meet with Nominor when he was pretending to be one of the uh, po politicians of that planet, even though he wasn't actually involved with that planet. I mean, he was, but he wasn't actually one of them. Um, Rhonda, you're redeemed in my eyes. So Rhonda the Hut kept trying to like be like, yo, I'm sorry. I know I did bad. Let me help you. And he freaking sacrifices himself and like, say what you will, but like, what other hut can you think of that does that? So he's redeemed in my eyes, even if Leia doesn't forgive him. Um, and you know why I would say that if you read the book. 
yes, finally. Jason stops being a dummy. And he's like, okay, I'll use the Force. And then he does, and he helps. Because that's what you should be doing if you're a Jedi. Um, but then, of course, um, at the end of the book, Thuros falls. And our heroes lose it again. And the Yusong Vong head ever closer to the uh, core. So, wow, this is definitely one of my shorter ones. I don't usually make them this short. Um, overall with this book, uh, oh, I guess I didn't give my overall feelings before the non-spoiler, but it was okay. Out of all of them so far, this is my least favorite, but it's not bad. It's still good. And if you're reading this entire series, you're going to watch this or read this, but it just wasn't the best one. It was okay. But anyway, that's about it for my review. Thanks for giving a thumbs up. Uh, next point, we got Edge of Victory. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Bye-bye.